Hi, welcome. Today I would like to discuss how you can use C Sharp uh, in a .NET Core environment on uh, on a Mac. So let's get started. Uh, basically, what you want to do is go to the Visual Studio Code uh, website and install .NET Core the instructions for the Mac and install the C Sharp extension, which I've already done. And it says to create a new project, you have to type in .NET New. Uh, but I found that uh, that by itself is not good because the uh, new templates have been added. So if you want to create a console app, for example, which is what I'm going to demonstrate, I can just say .NET new uh, console and it should create a console app. And here you can see it's created a console app and a C-sharp project. Then next, what you want to do is just run .NET restore uh, to basically set up the environment and restore some packages. And uh, once you have done that, uh, basically, you are ready to debug. You can go into debug and uh, you can, uh, it says uh, it wants to uh, add some assets, so you can say yes. And uh, once you've done that, it's going to have .NET Core and you can uh, just run it. And uh, this should uh, come up pretty quick and inside the debugger, let's see what happens here. And it's uh, stopping in the debugger and it's uh, right now here and uh, should uh, put out the output saying hello world so that's very good so let me just kind of quickly show you how you can add the arguments here uh, basically you can go into the launch window uh, where uh, you can see uh, there is a space for arguing adding the arguments so i'm going to add two arguments here let's say gor comma associates And once I've done that, I can save it and can go into my program. And I want to consume those arguments here. So it's pretty easy. What I'm going to do is just create a list and uh, concatenate it. So I'm going to say string.join. And I'm going to just join it uh, with a space, basically, and uh, give it the arguments. As you can see, the intelligence is working here. And uh, I'm just going to concatenate it, the arguments to this list. And here you go. And let's just try to run this again. So we can uh, see if the arguments uh, are showing up the way I expected in the environment. And here you go. And you can see the arguments are showing up in the debugger very nicely. And it's all good. And if you wanted to run it from the command line as well, you can uh, run it just from the terminal uh, .NET uh, run go associates and it should be uh, all uh, well good here it's interesting yeah I think what you want to do is set up the environments and run it uh, the way I've shown you so thank you for watching this short screencast if you want to uh, watch this video again or look at some of the other links. I'll add it into my website at Gore Associates. Thank you again and your great day.